So, why is it so hard to leave a narcissist and stay away? If you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, or, or if you know somebody who's been in a relationship with a narcissist, you would have noticed that leaving, the person leaving the narcissist, it's, it's very difficult. And if you do manage to leave, you, you might find that you return to the narcissist maybe multiple times. There may be multiple cycles of you leaving and coming back before you decide that enough's enough and you're gone for good. But why, why, is, why is it so difficult to leave the person? Why can't you just give them a, a kick on the rear and just depart and just go your own way? So the thing with narcissists is they leave such deep impressions in your mind at the beginning, you know, during that idealization and love bombing, they, they come across as such a good match to you, as such a unique person, as such a good fit for you. You know, they're, they're the perfectly cut out person for you. And you just, you attach to that, that version of them, that manufactured version version of them so strongly that even though later when all the evidence, you know, when the, when the mask falls and you come to see who they really are and what they're really about, you know, their toxic ways, it's really hard to let go of that initial impression of them for good. And narcissists are very, they're, they're very clever in how they breadcrumb and they'll, you know, even when the, the mask has fallen, occasionally they'll give you glimpses, glimpses of that great person who they were at the beginning, which just revives that whole impression, you know, in you. So even though maybe you had one good month with them and then five bad months, if they give you some of that breadcrumbing, you might find yourself feeling euphoric again because, you know, they starved you for some time and then they gave you the good stuff and it just felt so good. And, it and then all of a sudden you find yourself thinking that, the, the version of them that you thought was real from the beginning, again, you start finding that you think that that version is real. So, and it's just the way they play that that makes it so difficult for you to leave them. And when you do leave them, to stay away. Because um, they would have deeply embedded within you that there is a version of them that exists. Even if you hardly see it these days because all you see is the real them. But that fake persona, the one that you would have seen at the beginning, the one that was manufactured just for you. Giving up on that person is almost like giving up on a part of yourself. It's, it's like giving up on your dreams, giving up on your hopes, giving up on your happiness. And it's hard to let all those things go. And the narcissist knows that because their manufactured persona would have played towards your happiness, your hopes, your dreams. So that it's they know that you giving up on them for good is like you giving up on all the things you want. So when you leave the narcissist, and if they're not done with you, when they hoover you, or when they apologize, or when they pull at your heartstrings, it's all done so expertly in a sense where that you find yourself reliving all the good stuff at the beginning, and you just, even if you were almost letting them go, you were moving on, you're right back at square one. So, and that's what narcissists do. That's exactly how they they operate. That's how they pe keep people in their grips, at their fingertips. That's how they keep people trauma bonded. They keep people ruminating over over them. So if somebody you know did decide to move on, and was ignoring the narcissist, that. That, that difficulty in them reconciling this magnificent person at the beginning with this toxic person later, you know, the, the difficulty in reconciling that, the, the cognitive dissonance that comes in trying to reconcile those two um, opposing realities, it just brings about rumination because you just, you can't work it out in your head because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel normal. It doesn't feel that somebody can be both those people. And unless you understand about the disorder, unless you understand about narcissism, you know, manipul manipulation um, more broadly, unless you really get it, it's hard to get out of that mental cycle. But the thing is, even once you do understand NPD, even once you do understand how narcissists operate, 
you still struggle so much to let that go. The cognitive dissonance is still there. You still get it. You can still get trauma bonded if you understand about NPD because the emotions that they play off to get you trauma bonded are still there within you, whether or not you understand the disorder. However, with, with the understanding of the disorder, you can mitigate it. How? Well, simply by putting up certain defenses, simply by recognizing the red flags early on, simply by not letting your emotions fall too deep for the person. And if you find yourself falling for somebody like that, at least realize what's going on and realize that each step along the way, you have a choice of, of taking a step back, taking a step sideways, you know. And once you've been through um, something like that before, and you know the pain that comes with trying to break break the trauma bond, break that negative rumin rumination in your, in your head, just staying away from the toxic person. Once you know the pain and anguish associated with all that, the next time somebody comes around with some shiny, you know, coming across as a shiny toy, like they've got good treats for you, you won't fall for it so easily because all of a sudden they don't look so appealing anymore. Because you know, you know their strings attached, and the strings attached are basically, you know, your your mental, your mental and physical health and freedom, and you know everything that makes you you, your identity, your identity, the things in your life. Because the narcissists have very cunning ways of pushing you away from all that is good to you and making you dependent just on them just to later withdraw and leave you hanging. So, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this video relatively short. I just wanted to go through that whole process of why it's difficult to leave a narcissist for good um, and how they can kind of keep you attached, even once you know that they're not healthy for you.